Hey guys, this is Kirov speaking and today Dicky Mechbeck has a uh, big task ahead of him and that is to level up to level 14 hopefully at the tick over of the week and then we have this little um, tour coming up as well which is looking rather interesting and a little bit too challenging if I'm honest. Let's see, uh, so this one, eh, maybe not too much of a problem, depending on how much they chase up this actual mountain, even though this is supposedly a flat stage. No, I don't believe you, uh, there are two mountains in the way, or this might be called a hill, but then look at this, this is supposedly a hilly stage. I count uh, two fucking mountains in there, pretty close to the finish. Um, and lots of downhill, which is good for Mechspec, I'm not complaining about that. But uh, yeah, tour, uh, tour stage number four isn't much better either, although that is hilly on average, so we should be able to crank out a little bit of a sprint there. Anyway, let's get into that and see if we can't get a level up along the way. So this is a four day tour. All right, this doesn't look too bad. A zero and a plus one to sprint. That is probably the best stat to increase here. Although uh, hills might be just as valid because if you look at this, you will see that uh, it's pretty steep and those aren't too short either. Um, yeah, let's see how we get there first a though. Attack. He's the first serious challenge is at hand, but the peloton has decided to ride pretty slowly today. And we are still Just feeling reasonably on. good. So let's see if we uh, can hang in there for this one and save our energy for the last triple hill coming up. All right, that worked out just fine in a good old Speck effect uh, tactics the with the rubber the band. And speed. now we are recuperating a little bit of resistance before the first go into the hill. And I think we want to be a little bit more in the front. Now we are getting into it uh, at a heightened speed. And it is pretty steep over here. So now we're getting up to almost 8%. Yes, there we go. And halfway through, less than halfway through. This is a little biter, it seems. Uh, we don't like that. But the peloton is pretty long. So 125 riders right now. And the first rubber banding should be still good. And then we need to make sure to get back to the front in the downhill and flat section to not completely blow it for the next step up. Um, and yeah, we need a really good position on Watch every turn of this climb. And here we get back to the front, riding hard. We're turning off. Is this going into the next one? As soon as we turn a corner we are, okay, and we are back at the front. So that is all working out nicely so far. And they are riding reasonably hard. Um, but I don't think the peloton will split or anything. Now we are really moving hard to the front at 85 because I'm a little afraid that we won't be able to get back to the front before the hill comes and here comes the hill and we are just about back at the front. Very good, Mechspec. 13 kilometers to go. Here we need to keep our 85 just to be sure to stay up in front. If there's any split, we don't want to be, uh, well, splits probably are going to hip, uh, happen if you look at these uh, the teammates of mine. Uh, yeah, still looking good. We are sacrificing a lot of resistance though. That's not something I enjoy. Uh, but the, the roll into the finish is reasonably easy, so we should be able to be on the good side of things here. Oh, don't go too far, Mechspec. Calm down a little. There's still two riders up in front, there they are, and we should catch them in the sprint, I fear. 
Uh, although we are riding really slow right now and I'm not sure if we may have the chance to attack here even because we are doing really well and those guys don't seem to be uh, having the same sentiment going for them. So let's see if we can accelerate here. A team leader is falling behind. No, we definitely can't at 85. We're not really making a big difference right now. So who's this? This is a sprinter guy. So let's uh, suck up to his rear wheel just to be sure Five that we stay up front. All right, now we are in a really good position two kilometers away from the finish line. I forgot my... Sh oh, three kilometers. I forgot my spec bar though. So I hope it pops in really quickly. And they are... Oh, this is my arch enemy. There we and go. he is the going. Is on. The are setting but up. not really. Now he's he's accelerating. This is really the, the opponent I'm having. Uh, he has been at the front for a long time. So now I need to time things. And I'm really bad at that, as you know. So let's see a little bit from the side so we can see the distance. The One kilometer left to go. And he needs to sprint now. Mechspec is following. And Mechspec needs to sprint himself. Come on, Mechspec. No, we couldn't get to him, but uh, second place. Uh, second place. Okay. We did have a lot today. more sprint capability in us, so that was a bit of a bummer. Um, not well done by myself. I should have been a little bit more aggressive there. But uh, maybe not the best position. The I was too far to the in. front, uh, too far away from the finish. This race is quite flat. Expect a fast pace from the peloton. Oh, I would expect a not fast pace from the peloton, please, because holy titties in the sky. Look at those two uh, mountains. Um, not easy. And we have a zero race day condition. We like that. And we got plus one to sprint once again. Fuck. And what the hell game. Once again, my keyboard crashed uh, in here. So there's no way I can press pause apart from up here again. Okay. So mouse playing it is. I feel like a StarCraft 1 noob playing it all with one hand. We are almost at the mountain and I shall slow it down a little because now I can't do There's both at once. We are riding really slowly right now. 95? What's going on? Six minutes on the clock. And uh, now things should be getting worse. Uh, let's slow things down. I want to keep this position up front. And now go. Move up to the front as far as possible because they probably will start chasing at some point soon. Maybe in the second half of the climb? I don't know. Uh, it's getting much steeper over there. But at this tempo it's a complete non-issue and I fear that it's a little too slow. Like what the hell is going on guys? Because at this tempo my competition isn't tired out either. Ah, now we start moving. Uh, that's right at the end though. So, um, yeah, easy enough. Now we need to get back into uh, the frontal the position line. there and then be, uh, yeah, use the, the downhill to get there. The Probably at 60, I don't see any reason to, to accelerate here, apart from maybe a few crashes along the way down. Um, and then we should be having a really good position up front for the next climb as well and get over that one. Uh, it's not quite as easy right now. They are riding at an insane speed and now comes the next climb and I'm and I'm kind of front mid lead. position and at 70 they are pulling away. That's about as I expected but whoa look at the Summerhill guy coming up to me. Oh he had <laughs> the, the job of whoa, fetching water. That's not nice. And we are halfway through the climb so it's not too bad. But going at 70, that definitely tires out quite a few riders here. All right, we made it across the top, or not quite across it yet. It's pretty flat up here. And now a long downhill to recuperate. And we shall take a, front, a position in the front and limit ourselves to 60, um, just to 
get back our resistance a little faster. Now they are starting to move hard in the flat here too and you can see how strung out the peloton is. There's not that much wind and oh my keyboard isn't working so I can't show you. Or oh, is there some uh, hmm is there some control for that? No, I don't think so. The next tail is coming up though. We are moving into it pretty quick. And then we get ready for the final section, so it wasn't all too bad today, um, considering the terrain before. And uh, yeah, maybe we can place an attack, because we still have lots of power left in us. Alright, so we have conserved our energy really well. You can see we were riding at below 140 heart rate for the last uh, quite a long while. And our teammates are rather wasted, even this plus four guy here. And now comes the final stretch of terrain, which is looking interesting. We do want to get a little more to the front though, because this is uh, rather dangerous now. Especially with so many riders that don't have any kind of resistance left. So let's move up to the front. Alright, 15 kilometers left to the line. Now comes this final little hill. And we are in a very good position for that. Uh, I don't think we want to attack here. That's definitely too far away from the finish line. But maybe, maybe... Uh, this last little incline before the downhill so that we can power through to the on the downhill Towards the finish line using our downhill skill instead of uh, our hill skill and downhill skill is still a uh, quite a bit better than our hill skill So uh, yeah, maybe that works but now we are moving quick Yes, uh, we are in a That's very good position the breakaway. The pack gave them no chance Wow, they are moving quick. Uh, at 75, I can't really hang on, so maybe... Oh, and here's our guy we need to take position at. So let's do that. Uh, it doesn't look like we will be able to launch an attack, though. Not at this speed. That is far too high a tempo down here on the downhill to uh, be thinking of launching an attack. So that won't happen today, but I just hope that I have conserved my energy well enough to be able to sprint and this time beat this guy um, without keyboard controls. A little bit more tricky, but let's not forget to pop our spec bar now because that is a quick run to the finish and we can't pop it just four kilometers before that. Oh, they are slowing down significantly right now. And I'm not so sure what's going on. Uh, oh no, I can't steer Mechspec because I don't have my keyboard. Um, Mechspec, oh, look at that. Mechspec has a lot of speed difference to this guy, I think. 42 kilometers an hour and Mechspec is at 58. What does this one have? 41 and it's 3.8 kilometers away from the finish. I think we could Yes, Mechspec is really going hard here now 46 and let's attack. Let's try this. I do have quite a speed difference and Mechspec is sprinting away 12 seconds 15 seconds and the final sprint is off. Who's going to be the first of the line today? But they might be really fast and I... Uh, 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 I can't pause. Where are they? And I can't change the camera. <laughs> no. This is terrible. Um, no, I, I can't do anything. Uh, so let's hope they are not coming. And it's looking good. There's the line. No one is in sight. 40 seconds. What the hell? He showed determination I really hope... Ooh, prizes. that was a big four. Uh, I really Apparently, hope uh, the that the we uh, do get quite a bit of time the from this. Run, yeah, 27 seconds on the clock. And uh, he who won yesterday's stage is today second place. So we will have equal points standing. Uh, in the general classification, yeah, 45. 
Uh, but I should be leading overall. Yes, with 27 seconds. Very good. Maybe we can defend this, even though there is another really difficult stage coming tomorrow. But before then, I really have to restart the game to reset my keyboard controls. The route is fairly hilly. So oh no! <laughs> okay, that is the tour for us. Not only do we have a mountain stage, which really sucks. Look at that. My god. But this downhill is beautiful. Uh, but we have a minus four today. A minus four? Yes, a minus four. Fuck that, mate! Fall in the pack! Apparently, uh, the leader is on the ground! The pack is increasing its work rate! Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway! <laughs> now they are the doing exactly what uh, they always do to me. So it is actually an AI decision to do that and not just, uh, oh, look, the player is down, uh, let's ride harder. Uh, not just to screw you, but uh, for you who just dropped to the floor, as you could see in the uh, in the context menu there, uh, was one of the main favorites to win today's stage. And the AI is just programmed to see, oh look, a favorite is dropping behind. Let's accelerate to make use of that. And they don't look at how that happened. So that might explain why McSpec was dicked over so often. And yeah, we can really not follow this pace. This is impossible. Wow. And we're just halfway through this one. And then comes the big one. So no, this is an easy day. Let's ride it at 55 and just get into the finish whenever. Uh, so water bottles, yes, I, I go get water bottles, no worries. I'm the water carrier right now. Yes, very nice. 50... What? what? No, Mixpec, you fucking idiot! What are you doing? You're supposed to hold, just hold position. Ah, now he got wasted for... N yeah, for fetching water bottles. Uh, that was a stupid Apparently, move. The leader is on the ground. No, Mechspec is not going to ride any harder than this. I'm going to conserve all my stamina bar and I'm going to be in perfect shape tomorrow Attack with about uh, 40 minutes on the clock towards the uh, leaders of the race. And we are almost on top. That's looking good. Yes, there we go. And we're not that far behind the leaders either. So maybe we can try to get back there if we wanted to. Just attack downhill. Just a nice and easy pace to get back into the finish. There's a little hill coming up. We're just riding at 60, taking it easy. We're not losing that much time either. It wasn't too catastrophic. And we are conserving like uh, about a third of the bar. A little bit more than a third. It's looking good. Very well done, Mechspec. You should be uh, reasonably rested for tomorrow. What the hell is Dulane guy, uh, Dull Wayne guy, uh, got into 12th position? That is mighty impressive, man. How did you do that? Probably had a really good race day condition, unlike someone who ate too much currywurst. But now, let's see. You should be getting a level up when this is ticking over. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, yes, we did get it. Let's see. Uh, no, that isn't too impressive. Uh, I wanted to have more. I need more. Much more than this. But we did get one hill and one mountain. And plus two acceleration. We're getting really stupid good at this. And one downhill. Well, we can always use this. And one, one, one on the other stats. Stamina, resistance, recovery. Uh, good to have, but uh, I wanted to have more. More! It's going to be a monotonous day. Oh, no. <laughs> Max, you are and disappointing. Course, minus four once again. Won't make their uh, but we only have a minus one to acceleration and no penalty to sprinting so if we somehow get to the end then we might stand a chance in the final sprint there are so many breakaway riders today though 
that probably means that the speed of all will be really high over these hills because they might be getting away very fast. And then they don't tire out either, that's the main problem. Uh, I already fear this... where's my mouse here? Um, not necessarily this bunch here because it has flat sections in between, but rather this peaky hill. That's the really steep. And now we come to this peaky little mountain. Last big challenge on this stage before this very flat run-in towards the finish line. And we are well positioned and the peloton is not going really hard at it. Let's see why that may be. Uh, we do have two minutes, three minutes, three and a half minutes on the clock and it's 60 kilometers away from the finish. So yeah, that's not a problem whatsoever. We are going to rail in the escapees, no problem. But um, you never know how hard they want to ride in here. But this looks very, very slow. Though I'm not too concerned right now. And here we are just 20 kilometers away from the line. And uh, things are looking pretty good. I still have lots of resistance and saved a little bit of stamina bar as well. Although, uh, yeah, there, there was not much to begin with, 61. So uh, we'll see how it works out on the run into the finish, which is perfect terrain for our arch enemies. But there's something going on here which is a little worrying. Uh, well, I don't think we have the resistance today to pull off a long attack. But on the other hand, they are going so slow that I think we would have like a minute on the clock no, without any doing of on ourselves. It's just like riding quick past them. So let me see how, how much of a speed difference I can get at 85. Uh, a massive speed difference, to be exact. There we go. Max Beck is on, and he has a good attack too. So maybe we can, well, 27 seconds, 28. Maybe we can pull something off here and overtake those guys. They should be non-issue. 60 kilometers an hour we're going in the flat. And just bye-bye. Yes, uh, 85 is looking good. We need to pop our spec bar. And we have now a minute and 20 seconds on the clock. And uh, I hope our resistance bar is long enough. Because they might be chasing now. No, they are not. What is going on there? Oh, maybe they are now just looking at the general standings and seeing like, well, he is 10 minutes behind us and that doesn't really matter, right? So, um... Basically, they are giving up, and that here is perfect for us, because even if he gets, uh, the, the yellow jersey guy, gets uh, a reasonable placing, then these guys will be taking away the sprinter points from him. So, uh, that might work out in our favor. And here we're going, just three kilometers away from the finish line. And resistance bar is holding up, but uh, reducing quickly. I think we timed this really well, just seeing that they weren't really working hard. And then somehow our teammate set this whole thing up too. It was, was it was a weird situation, really, Nobody with um, him with being it. up front and like, oh, just pedaling like it was a Sunday ride. And we made two minutes, two minutes on the clock and... Oh, that's not the guy. That's not the guy. Wow! That's maybe really good for us. Oh, he finished third. Oh, no. Still third. Uh, that's a lot of points once again. So, what came out of this tour? Well, um, two stage victories. And uh, two times a race day condition of minus four. That wasn't too good. But on the other hand, uh, let's see how we did in the general spread. Oh, 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 look at that! Nice. We did get the sprinter's jersey. Well, we definitely didn't win the overall race. 
we did secure the overall sprint jersey and uh, nothing else because we sucked. But uh, at least something, right? That, that wasn't too bad. All right, guys, uh, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.